Okay, we're back, DJ Quiznow. Um, here I've got uh, the best chef in New Hampshire, Chef Ed of Winnicunna High School. Um, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, pretty good, actually. Well, I guess we'll get right into the questions. First one is, um, what did you do before you worked here? I worked full time at the Portsmouth Country Club as a sous chef. Now, what is that? What do you mean by sous chef? Uh, sous chef is a second person in command. Oh, okay. Um, what did you do for education? I went to Whittier Tech in Haverhill for four years, and then I graduated from the Culinary Institute in New York. Wow, cool. <laughs> um, do you like what you do? I do. I've been cooking for about 33 years now. Wow. Um, now into some more specific questions. What's your favorite dish to prepare that you've made here? Um, you had to name one. I like them all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, how do you cook? The other one, I've always wondered this. How do you cook for so many people? There's like a thousand kids in this school while still making it nutritious and still making it taste good. Um, well, I don't do it by myself. I have about five or six lunch ladies that participate in the preparation every day. Okay. Um, and it takes about 30 to 40 man hours a day to prepare all the food for the school each day. Huh. And just so you all know, man hours is the amount of people times the amount of hours is what, you're, is what man hours That's is. That's correct. Yes. Um, how much, so you just answered the second question, how much time do you have to spend to serve an average lunch? Well, each lunch period I think is about 20 to 25 mm -hmm. minutes long. So we got to try to get everyone served within 10 minutes so they have time to sit and eat their meal, you know. Okay. Um, do you have any uh, cooking shortcuts you use to shorten the cooking time? I don't know. Large batches, obviously, but... Um, any not little? really. I mean, there's only really one way to do it, you know. Yeah. Without compromising the quality. Mm. If you do make good food, I'll admit that. <laughs> um, and now for the these, these two questions I ask everybody who comes through. Um, how much has the school changed while you've been here? Uh, it really hasn't changed much at all. I mean, the, as far as the food goes, the students are more willing to try different things. Mm. Um, and how much have you changed while you've been here? Still has the same person. Well, I, well, I, 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 I respect. I mean, does it has, has the school caused you to think a different way or has it changed any of your, has it changed misconceptions that you've had about teenagers? No, <laughs> because I, I taught culinary arts in a vocational high school for 12 years. Oh, okay. So I pretty much knew what to expect when I came here. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, have a good day. Thank you. Okay. That's it.